What's going on YouTube? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. Man, it's been a long time since I posted a video, guys. Almost a month. It is icy out here, man. Look at that. Icing like crazy. But, uh, yeah, man, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. I'm still doing the channel. It's still everything it's gonna be. It's still everything on the up and up. It's just, it's winter time, man. Not much going on for me in the winter. I don't do snow removal. I do lawn care during the spring, summer, and fall. Save that money. Cush it out for the winter. Hang out with the family. Do a lot with the sun. And I continue building my business. Trying to find different ways of advertising and things like that. Uh, had the website redone. Things like that. During the winter, not too much lawn care stuff going on. So there's not much for me to talk about. I don't really want to do those talking videos on like, make sure your tires are at the correct pressure and stuff during the winter. I'm not about that. Whenever spring comes back, guys, I'll be hitting cut and clean again hard. Unless some other stuff comes in. What's going on, guys? Man, appreciate you guys all stopping in. Uh, but during the winter and the summer, I have a second channel. It used to be Backlash Outdoors or Backlash Fishing and Outdoors. I'm done with that. It's going away because that channel was linked to some really old gaming stuff. So it's harder having those videos found. So I partnered up with Randy over at Guitars, Girls, Green Grass, and Guns started a second channel make sure you guys go subscribe subscribe to it it's g4 space outdoors g4 outdoors miss you brother everything's good dude gonna sub right now i appreciate that uh but that's what i'm about dude. it's been big passion of my life besides just the business that is lawn care me as a person i'm big into the outdoors man i love fishing and stuff like that recently i've gotten a lot into guns and things like that concealed carry stuff like that randy's always been into it so i have a second channel which is going to have more of my passions the stuff i'm actually into the lawn care stuff everyone's going to say yeah that's what i'm into that's my thing it's business it's work you know what i'm saying it's work that's what it is it's not the most fun thing to record and stuff like that but the channel's not going anywhere because when spring hits I'll be back at it again hard it's just winter right now so if you guys do see this just do me a big favor if you want to keep up on the stuff that I'm doing through the winter, through the summer, fishing, hunting, if you're into it, if you're into guns, stuff like that, make sure you go check it out, man. It would mean a lot to me. I appreciate you guys, all the support you've given to me in Cut and Clean Lawn Care for sure. Like I said, Cut and Clean's not going anywhere. Just waiting for the season to come back around. So go subscribe, guys. G4 Outdoors. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I appreciate you coming in here. I missed that. Something about a backpack or something rather. I saw something about an FS94R. I'll chill in here for a little bit until the, uh, I'm getting sleeted on. It's very icy. If you guys got any questions or anything you want to ask, go for it. I got a little bit of battery laugh left. Good to see you doing well, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. It's been tough. A lot of you guys know I do uh, have issues with anxiety and depression, and the winter is always the hardest for this kind of stuff. You kind of get stuck sitting at home and you get into your feelings and shit like that. Season starts for me pretty much in March and April. Uh, March, I kind of get my buzz going again as far as advertising and stuff like that. Maybe even a little bit of late February. But April, it gets hit pretty hard for sure. I'm out here, if you guys are wondering, I'm at my in-law's house. Her uncle just got into town, so we're hanging out over here for a while. But like I said, if you guys get a chance, please go subscribe to G4 Outdoors. I believe the link is in the description, so you can just click it from there. You guys got any other questions or stuff you want to know? You can come over here and swing with me. What's going on, Cat Jaybird? How you doing, man? Let me check the old battery. It's getting low, 12%. Uh, good, man, good. What equipment do you use and what means uh, Gravely Pro Stance, Encore, Walk Behind, some still stuff. Just sub, thanks for the compact. Appreciate that, man. Nisto here. <laughs> Miss you, bro. Hey, man. What's up, man? Lawn Justice. That's the dude. Go sub to him, too. Do you get any snow? Man, we got snow just a couple days ago, and it melted. We get that stuff where it snows and then melts the next day. So snow removal is tough. Uh, Blake's doing good, man. He came over and hung out for a little bit the other day. He was thinking about buying a new truck. I don't know if that fell through or he ended up doing that or not. Matthew LaMarche, what's going on, man? Go subscribe to G4 Outdoors, Matt Marsh. Do it now. Guys, I'm gonna get off here, I appreciate you. I'm gonna do another live on this channel, keep you guys updated. I think I got some big stuff coming in, freezing rain in St. Joe. Yeah, dude, we're starting to get some freezing rain here right now. That's what I was just talking about. You can see it out here on the bricks. It's all freezing over. I don't even remember where I was going. Good, will do. 
How do I get my wife to not be so scared of guns? Take her to the range. Put her in a 22. Let her get used to it. Guns aren't scary. It's the fact that you don't know how to use guns that makes guns scary to people. You think it's just going to go off sitting on the table, but how many times does your remote turn your TV on for no reason? It doesn't happen. You have to physically make this weapon go off. You have to educate people to not be afraid of it. Just like people when they see big machinery. I don't want to get on a bobcat. I don't know what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. It's just like it is. Just got mine, Taurus 9mm. Nice, dude. Is it the 1911 9? It's, mm. Most people's fear comes from lack of education. And that's period. Like me, I have a ginormous fear of, fire, of spiders, which I think I'm always going to have, even no matter how educated I am. But yeah, you never know, man. But yeah, I appreciate you guys. Just like I wanted to say, I want you guys to go check out my other channel, man, because I'm going to be dropping a lot of stuff this whole winter on that and through the rest of the uh, season. How do you like in the Equipment Defender X? They're great, dude. I don't choose one over the other. Yeah, dude. I'll ask Randy for sure. HKP 30SK is what I carry. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, we'll do a review on it for sure, dude. Absolutely. We've been reviewing guns lately, some holsters and stuff. So last time, guys, I appreciate all you guys that came in here. 29 people just listened to me talk, and I appreciate it, man. You guys have always been great to me on here. And like I said, the channel's not going anywhere. Once spring comes, <clears throat> full force. But until that time, man, make sure you guys go subscribe to G4 Outdoors. Link's in the description. I love you guys. We'll see you later.